So welcome everybody to their Swiss Moto and today we are out for a ride into the Alps. I'm following the ever boring El Drono. Those who follow me on Instagram know I'm always shitting on this man. He's one of my best buddies and today we're gonna go into the mountains. I hate driving behind him. Not because he drives fast or because he drives slow but because he... I don't know what he's doing. He drives very slow when there is no apparent reason then all of a sudden he just gas, gives it the gas and you have no idea what's happening and then you follow him and then he goes on the brakes. <sighs> I don't know. I love the man but Jesus Christ. It's a lot of work driving behind him. And look an ambulance. <sighs> oh no. So yeah. Today uh, we are gonna go to Oberalp Pass, which is uh, after Andermatt. Look at that, he's looking. He had the entire time to overtake and he waited almost till the freaking straightaway was over to overtake without any regard for, oh, do I have my body with me? Does he also need space to overtake? Nope. Ah, uh, it's just sad. And look at that, now these two idiots are having a freaking conference in the middle of the road. Like... That's a stupid place to have a meetup, I would say. So if you were smart, you would have overtaken him whilst he was doing 10. But he isn't! Ah. And now we wait. He's probably gonna overtake as soon as it's a 30 zone or when there is a corner and now he's doing some S's because he thinks he's great. <sighs> I hope he's watching this video and he knows how annoying he is. Like with my other best friend, like with Ari, Kavazari1 on Instagram. I know how he drives, he knows how I drive, always constant. It's beautiful, it's a symphony riding behind him, or having him riding behind me, it's beautiful. With this man, nobody knows. And now you may ask, why am I even out with him, if I'm just complaining, I don't know, you know. We all have that friend where like, their mom told us like, oh, could you please go out with him, look at that. Now he overtakes, like, yeah, like, ciao, goodbye my friend, like, it's just, Silly. It's stupid. This man doesn't make any sense. His driving doesn't make any sense. If any police officers are watching this, please take his license. Don't do it for me. Do it for the children. Ah, my god. So yeah, this is gonna be a complainy blo vlog. Mostly because I want to bring this guy to watch my videos because I know it doesn't. Probably doesn't. He is my friend, but he doesn't support me at all. It's not like you guys who watch, like, comment, subscribe. He doesn't. He just gives me shit. So that's what I'm doing now. Haha. <laughs> Look how the turns are tabled. <laughs> that's an office reference for those who know. Those who don't know think I'm an idiot. Which is fine by me. So yeah, we are gonna do our way up into Andermatt and I shall show you the roads leading up to it in a bit as soon as we get there because those roads are amazing so see you in a minute I'll try not to have a heart attack following this guy <sighs> So we are back, we passed uh, Andermatt, you probably, if I did things correctly and in order, you saw the drone video of that road, which is amazing, 
and now we are gonna start climbing the overall pass that goes to I think a bit over 2000 meters so enjoy the views because they are fantastic and no I don't kill I don't I didn't kill my friend he's he's still driving but he's behind me where he belongs <laughs> so yeah now we're gonna have our fun and by the way on the way up I did something that I was really proud of for the first time I put my uh, footrest on the floor on the corner so my lean angle was I think proper <laughs> on this bike which never happens so yay for that I have some points on my man cars so look at the view so the Furka pass and the Susten pass and the Gotthard pass are all on that side of the world just an amazing place to live an amazing place to ride those passes we are gonna go on them soon enough they are still closed because of the snow although from where I'm standing there's not much snow to be honest there will be some snow up in the highest point and probably before it etc but on right here it's it's actually very very green I was expecting way worse so that's climate change for you so now we have to stay behind the truck till we are allowed to overtake but look at the views the views are amazing I don't know if you can see the view on my review mirror my buddy right behind me I'm actually more of an antisocial person but today I have my buddy with me and we are going at it not in the way you're thinking right now the other way the normal way so now here we can overtake so we shall and here we go again <laughs> Uh, I miss the mountains, I miss the Alps, I miss the passes, I miss the snow I'm even gonna say I miss the cold The kind of cold you get from driving on a sunny day on a mountain pass whilst there is snow everywhere oh, This is fantastic I'm sure I'll have to blur some bits and bobs of this ride <laughs> So I'm gonna give myself a bit more work than I usually give but it's worth it to be fair I'm not made doing Mach 10 I'm barely over 80 which is the allowed speed here but because so many of the people in on the interwebs are police officers or wannabe police officers I should say it's better that you sometimes hide some things oh look at that look at that and I'm about to go stop at one of my favorite spots and I'll do another drone video up there which I will put up in here for you to enjoy because oh this is just fantastic my mood just changed I no longer have El Drono in front of me with his bike I have sun in my face I have the Alps I have an open road oh <laughs> This is what life is all about. Oh, oh. <laughs> and yes, those are very orgasmic noises I'm doing right now. I don't care. Deal with it. So here is the place we are gonna go. Which is an amazing place that I love to take pictures to be to just sit down for hours upon hours which granted is not gonna ha happen today because I have my buddy with me I have zero interest on sitting here with him for hours <laughs> I know I'm an ass I'm being an ass he's a good guy maybe really deep down so doing some proper job at parking turn off the beast <laughs> and point the camera directly at his face <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be right back remind us who we are take me away off to a much better place off to a much better state take me away how to see out of this space how to see out of this place oh man I would that be nice and when you need to revive Just take a deep look inside Now go 
Put your hands up high like you ain't coming down Go on and touch the sky, get your feet off the ground Now put your hands up high like you ain't coming down Go on and touch the sky, get your feet off the ground Making a stack, then I'm making a rack And I give it all back to the people who lack Got me on fleek, no, you got me on flack Start all the beef, then you take it all back Didn't believe, now you see me on track Keep up with me, cause I never look back Used to know me, but I'm not like my past Reinvent me like you wish that you had, let's go I just wanna touch the sky, west coast I just wanna feel alive, I know The way I wanna feel inside, and I go Living through the painful nights, but I know I'm coming out the other side, and I know I wouldn't want another life, oh no I love who I am inside, and I'ma live today Like any day can die, yo so we are back on the road hope you like the little drone shot the 360 view of where we were standing and now let's go find some snow to park on ah it's so beautiful up here it really is one of those wow, amazing places in the world there are many places to take your breath away, but this one is just... Oh. I beg you, if you ever get the chance of just getting in your car, in your motorcycle, in a scooter, take the bus, because this is Switzerland, so you can literally take the bus up here. Just go, go on the Alps, go on the Alps. One of my, not biggest regret, but a regret I have is when I had my scooter, I, I never drove up here because for some reason in my head I was like oh it's not it's not for a scooter or whatever it is it is for everybody just come up here and enjoy the freaking view like look at that look at that and you can see there I, I'm gonna point at it over there there was an avalanche because you can see the smooth snow everywhere and there it's like fresh powder like fluffy so yeah that's the main reason why the the passes sometimes take a bit uh, to open although the roads are good it's because of the risk of an avalanche so yeah it's amazing oh, look at that just gonna pass the Skoda Roomster real quick this freaking view my god Sorry that I'm so quiet. Probably a good thing. I'm probably gonna win one million, one million subscribers when I start doing videos where I shut the fuck up. But this view, like, there is, ah, is there anything better? I mean, for people that like the beach, probably yes. But for freaks like me that just love the snow, love the Alps. This is absolute perfection. Look at that. So now we are gonna enter a small little tunnel. And after that we will be at the top. You can probably... There is a lake there, by the way. This entire flat spot is a lake. You just cannot tell it is. So in here on my right side, it's the train tracks. So the train also rides through this little tunnel. The reason for the tunnel I know nothing about. I assume it's probably because of uh, avalanche or something. But when the snow falls it goes over this bit. Probably. I don't know. But regardless it's amazing. <laughs> and I've passed it where now it has like those windows that are closed off by woods. But I've passed it where the windows were closed off by snow. So much snow was in there. So. Look at that. Look at that. Freaking amazing. So we are reaching the highest point of the overall pass where the road is because of course if you want to walk you can reach higher points than this one. But yeah and there is a lighthouse up here just in case I don't know the movie 2012 actually happens and there are boats up here <laughs> they don't go into the mountain that's my theory so yeah 
amazing so overall pass 2064 and 46 sorry and I I'm such an idiot I parked at a weird angle so I cannot put my stand down <laughs> which is always a very professional uh, move from me so yeah now I think it's good it's good enough I would say so with that being said I'm gonna leave you I'm gonna do another little drone video up here just to show you the view and then we are gonna go eat something I don't know if I'm gonna show you that but just in case I'll say goodbye El Drone will say goodbye to the guys at YouTube bye bye and bye and when you need to revive just take a deep look inside now put your hands up high like you ain't coming down go on and touch the sky get your feet off the ground now put your hands up high like you ain't coming down go on and touch the sky get your feet off the ground yeah